And this was very controversial to, to frame. I love this picture. I think it's phenomenal. It's in my blood. I'm a, I'm a designer by, by formation, so I, I see the world through shapes and lines and shades, and I see design through the camera the whole time. When you do documentary photography, um, you don't look for the photography. The photography kind of finds you. You just have to be in the right spot in the right moment and find that moment that captured whatever you want to you transmit through your photography. It just happens when I'm walking. I just have the camera set up ready to go and, and whatever I need to capture capturing them in the right moment. I was walking through the streets of Shibuya in, in Tokyo, Japan, and I found this monk begging for money in a corner with this marvelous outfit, begging for survival in front of his opulent store. So he was right standing, I got the perfect shot in right in the, in the, in the right moment. I did a little bit of research uh, uh, previously about what people like and what people is doing for fetishes today. And, uh, and I found all kind of interesting things. I add a, a lot of, I don't want to say a lot, but a few personal things. I started working a little bit with, at the beginning with, uh, with my leather fetish, for example. And there's one of my, my famous photography right now, it's called Sir. I didn't want it to make it vulgar when it could be very gentle. I think it's very tasteful actually. I got a pro from my mother. She thinks she's fantastic. In the shooting we have today, there's many people that have the fetish about the military guys. for just a little bit of controversy because of the Don't Ask Don't Tell policy of the army in the United States, the title of this piece uh, is Ask Tell. I've been working with this project about all the fetishes before and for this exhibition I just want to be a little bit softer so I decided to work with this straight couple the girl was really, really nervous, and I say to her, feel like I am a horrible monster, and your boyfriend is gonna protect yourself from, from me. And they got engaged in this beautiful hug to each other, doing the, the, the nude photography. In my point of view, I don't wanna see anything. I wanna suggest everything. I decided to bring two of the shots for this exhibition tomorrow. I think they're quite interesting and people are going to like it. And this is the completed group of the Naked Collection. So we're 29 artists doing everybody in different medias. I'm very excited actually because for the first time I have two exhibitions going on at the same moment. I have an exhibition in Venezuela right now going on and I'm here across the world having this uh, exhibition right now. Digamos, trabajando con muchas texturas, mm -hmm. 
y la parte documental de mi fotografía también. Y pues nada, quería compartir un poquito con el público venezolano lo que estoy haciendo, que no lo había hecho antes. ¿Cómo se despide uno en coreano? Año hace dos. ¿Cómo? Año hace dos. Año hace dos. challenge to come to the show with something that people is not used to see. People like it and people it's getting interested about what I'm doing and, and asking what I'm going to do next.